Hi, I'm Nick Falkoff with Auburndale Builders and welcome to our Newton All-Electric House. Let's take a look inside. On this project, our team worked very closely with the architect, Henry Finch, to blend today's building science with classical design. So as we go through the house, what you're going to see is really beautiful interior spaces and natural lighting, which is Henry's specialty, and high performance building features, which is the AB specialty. Let's take a look at some of the rooms. We've worked with the architect Henry Finch for more than 10 years on multiple projects, and something we really like about his design style is the use of classical features like curved walls and trim, and lots of interesting glazing patterns to bring light into the house. From the building science perspective, we like to use that sunlight, especially on the south side, to heat the house. So in high performance building or passive house building, we call the sun the big furnace in the sky, and we can use that sunlight to heat this house in the wintertime. Each architect we work with has different specialties. Henry is really good at the interior trim and cabinetry details. So we work closely with him from the very beginning of this project to make sure that we executed beautiful trim work and case work and allowing some of this Southern light to pass through and into the other sides of the house that don't have as much Southern exposure. So if you look at this wall, you'll see upper windows that are clear and French doors. And this allows the rooms that aren't on the South side of the house to have nice lighting in the winter time when the sun is low in the sky. Here on the second floor hall, Henry did a really nice job designing for morning light. So this bank of windows here allows the easterly light as the sun comes up to stream into the stair hall. It's a really nice touch and something we appreciate about his design. One of the cool details on this house that gets repeated throughout the interior and exterior is curves. So you'll see on the wall behind me, Henry's designed some nice curved walls that really softens the space and makes it feel a little bit more cozy. Another feature we've been incorporating into a lot of our homes is elevators. A lot of our clients are looking to age in place and to stay in their homes longer, and stairs can be challenging. So on this house, we have a four floor elevator that they can take up and down. And it's pretty well concealed in the design of the rest of the house. You wouldn't really notice it. Our carpenters do a beautiful job trimming out the doors and just making it feel like an extension of the rest of the house. As we move into all electric homes, one of the features that we've been getting rid of is gas powered hot water heaters. In this house, we have air source heat pump water heaters. And what these are doing is taking the heat out of the air and putting it into the water. Once you've done that, you can power this with renewable energy and now your hot water is not using fossil fuels. With an airtight house, we are always asked the question, how does the house breathe? And we tell our clients, the house doesn't need to breathe, the people need to breathe. So what we do is, we bring in fresh air and we exhaust the stale air. And this unit behind me is what's called an ERV. It's an energy recovery ventilator. But this ERV is special because it does a few things that other ERVs do not do. This unit, not only can it bring in fresh air and exhaust stale air, it also does dehumidification. It also has a small amount of heating capacity and a small amount of cooling capacity. So some people in the high performance community call this a magic box because this is kind of the future of heat pumps. Our teams are so busy building houses, I never actually get to sit down in them. So I'm actually sitting in this home theater we built for the clients for the first time. I don't get invited over to watch the movies because they're sick of hearing me talk. I talk a lot with our clients about the similarities between construction and movies. You're both going to have large casts and both of them you want professional people that know their lines. If you watch reality TV, you know they don't spend much money on a script and the people make up their lines as they go and that creates the drama. If you don't want reality TV, we tell them, hire a good architect, their plans are the script that we will follow, and we will hire professionals who know their lines. Here at the back of the house, Henry used the archways to really frame the views to look out to the golf course back here. Our site supervisor, Richard Dupree, worked very closely with our framing and siding contractors to make sure that all these arches and curved details were executed flawlessly. So a lot of beautiful craftsmanship with curving the wood and making sure that the arches and all these trims kind of blend in seamless. 
We added this staircase to add an extra landing. And what we did is we worked closely with the landscape architect, the architect and the landscaper to make this staircase that blends up to a deck level look like it was part of the original design. Something I love about the design of this house is how the architect really used the site to complement the design. So as you approach this house from the street, it's sort of very settled into the landscape. And as you go into the house, it opens up to the backyard because this is on a hillside. And what you can see is that the landscape and all the arches and all the indoor outdoor spaces really connect the inside space to the outside space with the ground floor opening out right to the golf course. The clients on this project really care deeply about this Japanese maple that's behind me. So our team worked very closely to protect the tree from the beginning of construction all the way through. You can see how the house complements and works off of this existing beautiful tree. With the natural wood roof and the natural wood siding, this house is changing color and changing tones over time which really makes it sort of evolve with the landscape and it's nice. It has different looks and different seasons. And with the modern building science, we've incorporated rain screens that allow the siding to dry out and last longer than typical cedar siding. So we'll look at some of the roof details and the siding details that make this a high performance building. So with the wood roof, we have to do a few different layers to prepare it so it'll last. And what you can't see on this roof is there's actually four inches of exterior insulation underneath our wood roof, which makes this a high performance roof. So if you look at the structure of it, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see thin strips of copper every eight to 10 rows on the roofing. And what that does is the copper is actually changing the acidity of the water and reducing the ability for moss or other stuff to grow on the roof. So with high performance buildings, we're taking these traditional building elements and we're adding extra layers such as exterior insulation and air sealing. When you look at this house from the sidewalk, it really looks small and kind of settled into the landscape. The wood roofs, the wood siding, all kind of give it a lived in natural look that blends it in with the site and it kind of blends it with the neighborhood. So this house can surprise people that it's a modern all electric house because it really looks very historical with a lot of the details. Thanks again for joining us today. This is one of my favorite homes. The blend of art and science is a lot of fun to talk about. So we'll see you on our next tour.